morning and welcome to season four of Superior Angling. We are here on the shores of Lake Superior. Yes, I have planer boards in my hand. Yes, that's a little boat to my left. Yes, that's a very, very big lake in the background. We are going after salmon. Fish, big fish. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Big fish, big fish. Now that's a sweet October muskie. Fish, 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 fish. That's a big Atlantic, boys. All right, we are out here. We're floating. There's no holes in the boat. And by that, I, I referenced to a couple years going into this, and we had coho swimming in the bottom of the boat because there's so much water in here. We're good this year. We upgraded. We upgraded. So, all right. We made our life very, very easy, I presume, if this is going to work out. So obviously these are the rod holders that go in our glass lun that we use all summertime. And instead of trying to figure out a rod holding solution in this boat, drilling into the side walls, we said, hey, let's go to Marine General. Let's try to buy the bases, this uh, uh, four or six inch base for these and screw them down onto the seats. So literally eight screws later, we have a rod holder solution. We presume that we're gonna slide these in here. And I mean, this should work. I mean, I. I don't know how steady or unsteady that aluminum is, but we should be we should be good and we should have a rod holder solution. So <laughs> our game plan for today is to troll for salmon. We're gonna use some planer boards. Oh we got ice in there. We're gonna use planer boards. We're gonna use stick baits. We'll get into that setup in a minute, but first and foremost, let's just get our rod holders on here. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I'll hold. <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, so what we're going to do here is we have straight mono. Again, on a warm day like today, today's an anomaly though. Usually it's freezing cold this time of year, but we've just had some crazy warm weather that makes it very, very difficult to ice fish. So, but with in regards to the warm weather, we're using mono and we're just going to fish high in the water column. So on a typical year, every winter, there's a lot, a lot of salmon in the Duluth area right here and little to no pressure just because all your boat landings are iced up. You can't get bigger boats out here. So unless you have a small boat like this that you can drag down the shoreline, you're not going to be out here fishing. So. Luckily, Kevin's got a whole array of boats in the yard that he dug out of the snowbank last night. And hey, we're out here, we're floating. But again, there's a lot of salmon. So we're gonna fish high in the water column, clear water. Typically this time when the water temps are super cold, 
oh, we don't know what it is because we don't have a graph on the boat, but you know, it, it's 33, 34 degrees, your fish are way up high in the water column. And it's not a technical approach typically. On a typical year, there's nothing technical about this. Get out here, throw some lines in the water, and sooner or later you're gonna have fish. So we're gonna run planer boards, we're gonna run um, four boards, straight mono, and probably start with four stick baits and just troll around and, and see what happens. So again, in front of me here is north. We have a north wind, north, northwest wind coming offshore. These waves that you see are rollers from two days ago's east wind. So we're safe. We have life jackets, we have throwables, we have rope, we have paddles. So we have all the necessary safety gear to be out here and um, you know, have a, have a peace of mind. So yes, anything can always happen, but anything can happen in the summertime as well when you're, you know, 20, 30 miles out. So we're out here, we're fishing. Let's get these lines in the water and see where the day takes us. Outside. Here we go. Fish on. We just hit that dirtier water. There's a pretty good mud line out here that we saw coming out here. And this was on the outside scatter wrap that we had. Doesn't feel too bad. Hit that board pretty good. Little coho. That's what we're out here targeting today is cohos. Whoa. That is, that is a king salmon. We're out here targeting cohos and you never know what you're gonna get. Hit that scatter wrap, orange. Nice fish, that's what we're doing today. When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose, and that is why we exist because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior. Hey everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. Now through March 29th, take advantage of rebates up to $3,000 on select Lund boats from RJ Sport and Cycle located in Duluth. We sell everything from fiberglass ties and Pro-Vs, perfect for the big water and space for the family, to tillers, side councils, pontoons, and much more. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff is here to answer all your questions and to help get you into your next Lund boat. Visit us in-store or online at rjsportandcycle.com today. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. If you're looking for a lighter, faster, smoother auger, check out the Pistol Bit. Weighing only four pounds and optimized for efficiency, the Pistol will maximize the life of your cordless drill battery, cut quickly, and easily re-drill old holes. Thanks to its stable centering point, check out the Pistol and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. All right, we made three more passes through that muddy water, no fish. I have enough confidence to say that our one fish was not necessarily a fluke, but there's just not many fish in there right now. So instead of just grinding out in this area, we're gonna make a run about seven, eight miles 
and fish some different water. The thing about this time of year is when you get on fish, I mean, it's gonna be, you're gonna catch a lot of them. So we just have to move and try to find where they're at. Our number one spot right here though, there is not many fish around. So we're gonna row them in and head to a different area and hopefully it'll be better. lines in the water for three minutes that's why I mean it pays off time after time rather than beating an area to death and grinding out two three fish just move take invest a half hour and move and you're gonna get fish and that's exactly what happened right here that's a salmon guys that's what we want that's what we're out here for within a minute come on baby I'm in that other line but that's okay Look at that, look at that, yes! That pays off. Within a minute, we get a coho on the Join a Scatter Wrap. Man, that's a good feeling to have. <laughs> that's a good feeling because we were not gonna have enough gas to run all the way back to where we came from and try down there again because it took a little bit to get up here, but it pays off. Look at that, that's a salmon. That's what you want this time of year. That's beautiful. I need some speed. Fish just hit this right here, right at the back of the boat. I just got hit. I was just letting this line out. Look at this fish. That's a big one. This line was 20 feet behind the boat and it got hit. I would say we found the school of these. That is wild. <laughs> it pays off. It pays off just to get out here and move. And I told you, when you find the school, they're gonna be loaded. This lure was right behind the boat. That's a gorgeous coho salmon. That's what you like to see. There's one, there's one, there's one. Get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. Slow us down. Man, they are stacked right here. Come on, baby. That's the problem with coals is they hit and they turn so fast and so hard. That's what we like to see, same exact spot. Yeah, look at that little coal. That's it, that's it, that's it. Get in the boat, 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 get in the boat. There we go, guys. That's what we're talking, look at that, barely hooked. Just one little hook right in the bottom jaw on the jointed, or on the regular orange scatter wrap, non-jointed. That's a salmon. This action is crazy. They hit though, their mouths are so small and so soft, they hit and they turn and you're gonna lose a lot of fish. If you're at 50%, you're doing good on these guys. That's a coal, that's a Blake Superior, a wintertime coal, that's awesome. All right. There's, there's one, there's one, there's one. There we go, we made another pass back where we caught those on the turn, this fish yet. It seems like every time we make a turn back in the same spot, we've been getting hit. There we go, a nice Lake Superior coho salmon. 
beautiful. That again hit the scatter app, orange. Nice fish. That fish ate it in the same exact spot that the last two I've caught are, and that, they're just nipping that back treble yeah. hook. You see that? Yeah. They're barely hitting it. And I, I think that's why we've lost a couple of them. Yeah. Again, that's not a that's not a bad one. A little bit smaller. I mean, they'll get bigger as you get into April, May, and June. Um, but that's not a bad size for this time of year. You know, our salmon here aren't our cohos aren't you know a good co your average coho is probably. 16, 17 inches in the, in the winter time, and then come spring when you can catch them, you can get some 18, 19, 20, 21s. But I mean, that's a heck of a fish. I mean, even to be out here right now in the winter time, that's four salmon. I don't even know, three or four now, right here in a very, very short period of time. But like I said, once you find them, just do circles. We're not putting our lines back very far now. I'm doing 50, 60 feet behind our boards just to allow us to do tighter turns and we're not putting them very far out from the boat. I mean, as you guys saw, that one hit me right behind the boat. So they're not very boat shy. Um, they're just super aggressive. Just get a bait in front of them this time of year, they're usually gonna hit. All time board. Outside, got him. There we are. There we are. There we go, man. They are, I mean, this is absolutely oh. incredible. You wanna come off? That kid's gone. Pull that line, is he there? Nothing. There's a fish on here. This school of salmon is wild. <sighs> Look at this. Where is he going? We just got lost one on the board rod. We just lost two on the board rod. This one went, this is a spoon, and we're just about to take this off, but that just shows you the magnitude of fish right here. It's just incredible. Look at this fish, guys. Not too often you can be hooked up with one fish, it gets off, you look over, this rod's going, and you just grab that rod. I mean, what in the world? That's six salmon in 20 min 25 minutes. Some of the fastest paced salmon fishing of the whole year is right now in the winter time when nobody else is out here. Luckily today we have warm temps, somewhat light winds, and guys, we're killing the salmon. This winter, take charge on the ice with the Phantom Lures Budzo. Available in three sizes, ranging from one-fifth to three-eighths ounce, the Budzo is ideal for every fishing scenario. With its internal rattle and 12 vibrant fish-catching colors, this lure is sure to be your top bait on the ice. Ideal for big walleyes in the shallows, aggressive trout out deep, and slab-sized crappies in the basin, the Budzo is a proven fish-catching machine. Check them out online at phantomlures.com or in-store at Marine General in Duluth today. Protect your investments this winter with an enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales, located in ESCO. We also sell cargo trailers, utility trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Did you know we stock a full line of Heinecker snowplows? While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Don't forget about our service center, ready to tackle jobs of any size. Wittis Trailer Sales in ESCO, where customers become friends. Now through March 29th, take advantage of rebates up to $3,000 on select Lund boats from RJ Sport & Cycle located in Duluth. We sell everything from fiberglass ties and Pro-Vs, perfect for the big water and space for the family, to tillers, side councils, pontoons, and much more. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff is here to answer all your questions and to help get you into your next Lund boat. Visit us in-store or online at rjsportandcycle.com today. This week's health tip is brought to you by St. Luke's, the patient above all else. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Johnson with St. Luke's Urology Associates here for today's health tip. Today we're talking about prostate health. Have you ever been in the boat fishing with your friend and you notice you're peeing four, five, six times and your friend isn't peeing at all? Well, it might be that you've had too many beers, but it also might be that you're having problems with your prostate. And that's where St. Luke's Urology Associates comes in. If you're experiencing symptoms such as getting up frequently at night to urinate, urgency during the day, a weak urinary stream, 
difficulty postponing urination or simply just don't feel like you're peeing like you did when you were 16, it's possible that you have prostate problems. This is a good time to ask your primary care physician for a referral to urology and we can look into it and potentially with medication, behavior changes, diet changes, or even surgery make you feel a little bit better and make you feel a little bit younger. Inside board, that's what I like to see. It feels heavy, it's probably not heavy in terms of it being a, a big salmon, but this is the way that it's hooked. So hopefully it's got two hooks into it and it's coming in a little bit sideways. This is number eight for us. We need this fish. We need this fish, I wanna get our limit. This will like be pushing uh, close to our record for us in terms of how fast we've caught a limit of salmon out here on Lake Superior. No electronics, no net, no fancy gear. No, he's barely hooked. That's a good one. Look at that, guys. Every single fish is identical in terms of how they are hooked. Every single fish. I mean, just a treble hook on the very, the very back treble in the tip of their nose. Every single fish is the same. I don't know why they're eating like that today. It's, they just are, and that's why we've lost so many fish. This is number eight for us. I bet we've lost double that, maybe even more. So, I mean, and this has all been in 45 minutes. Absolutely insane fishing. It truly, truly pays to move. I'm so glad we did that move. We were thinking about putting a boat back on the trailer and taking the truck up here to where we where we are, but we would have just burned too much time. It would have taken us two hours to get that boat back on the on the trailer. And we're like, we just don't have that amount of time. And we're like, we just gotta go for it. So, you know, we hit the throttle on the, I don't even know, five, 10 horse Merc and we sent it and we're here and we got salmon. We got salmon. Oh, look at this guys. This is really cool. These are, look at all these little bait fish in the mouth of this salmon, just full of them. So here's what they're eating right there. That's what they're eating. Look at this salmon's mouth is full of them. Look at that. I mean, look at it. Isn't that crazy? That is absolutely incredible. That's why, I mean, these are like little juvenile smelt, I think, that were probably born this past year. I'm not a biologist, but that's what I presume they are. Look at them. Look at that. That is super cool. That's why they're so active and aggressive right now. Look at that. That's a nice salmon. I love it. I love the North Shore in the winter time. Put away the ice fishing gear for a week and come out here and just do this. Those in the lakes are just nasty with slush. Your snowmobile's getting stuck. You work so hard and you can just change it up, you know, have a change of pace and come out here and catch awesome Lake Superior salmon. That's what it's all about. It makes winter go by that much faster and it makes us look forward to springtime. I mean, you know, I mean, we're gonna be out here in the Big Lund in a few short months, but right now we are sticking it to the salmon in the small boat. We need two more. How are we gonna get two more by the time we run out of gas? Are you serious? <laughs> There's one on the long line. Long line, Kevin. Oh, this feels like. Came out. That was a big fish. That rod is doubled over. That was a big fish. There he is. There he is. You got him. Hooked up. I got him. Well, oh, I don't know what this is. He feels like he has some weight to him. You got your snap weight out of the water, Kev. He came up and he hit, and I set it back down, let on some more line. 
and he just came and throttled it. He's just down off the back of the boat right now. Hard to say what he is. Could be another salmon, but I think he has some more weight on than that. He does not want to come in. Big, nice steelhead. Look at that iceberg out there, man. We got ice, we got salmon, we got steelhead. That's a big steelhead. Oh, he's barely hooked. Got him. That's a nice steelhead right there. Nice native Lake Superior steelhead. Wow, he is barely hooked. Be pretty diligent with this guy, hence we gotta release him. That's nice, beautiful Lake Superior steelhead right there. Yeah, it just got hit right at the back of the boat. Right at the back of the boat. It wasn't there and I literally felt them hit it. That is wild. Guys, that just goes to show you that you don't need to get these boards far out. Right at the back of the boat. That's cool, two fish in one day, you feel them hit right at the back of the boat. Oh, they come off. <laughs> it's, like that, it's like that video on Instagram with those guys dipping those cane poles in for tuna and pull them around and they come off right away. That is a fresh Lake Superior salmon. That, that fish was not on there. I literally felt them hit right at the back of the boat. That's number nine and we need one more for our limit. There's one outside. There we go. This is number 10, man. This is it. This is it. This is it. Slow us down. This is it. We're going to take our time. We're going to stay composed and we're going to get this fish in the boat. This is number 10. It's actually like number 25, but it's going to be number 10 in the boat. I'm feeling confident on it. It feels pretty heavy. Hopefully it has two hooks in its mouth and it's coming in sideways. There it is. That's a nice one too. It, it looks like it, it hit it pretty good. All right, I'm gonna hoist it in. Ready, set, go. That fish was not coming off, guys. That is number 10. That is a two-man limit of coho salmon on Lake Superior in a mere, I don't know, hour and a half, not even. Maybe hour. He ate that one good. He was not coming off. And again, that's why once you get your limit of cohos, it's I mean, between their scales coming off, their mouths ripping, and them eating baits like this. I mean, uh, uh, this is kind of out of the norm today, how, how much you chomp this one, but it's just not good to catch and release these salmon. So once you get your limit, go after something different. We still have a little bit of gas in the tank. I think we're gonna put down some more spoons and try to get some more steelhead, maybe a looper. I don't know. But we have a limit of coho salmon and one king out here. Again, your kings apply to your total limit of salmon. So whether you have, you can have, you know, two kings, three cohos, four cohos, one king. You know, in this case, nine cohos, one king. That's a, a 10 fish total. That's our limit of salmon out here on Lake Superior. I love it.